Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how I make worm chow. This will save you spending money on commercial products and it will allow you to use up some of the expired stuff that might be in the back of your cupboard somewhere. First thing I'm going to add is some Weetabix, which was in the back of my cupboard. It's expired. Worms absolutely love this stuff. They don't care that they've expired or go, gone stale. If you don't have Weetabix, you can use Bran Flakes. The worms will love that just as much. I'm then going to add some oats. Again, this is expired. I just had a bag of it in the back of the cupboard. I'm not very particular with how much I'm adding. You want to add roughly equal amounts of each of these ingredients. This is some bread flour I had in the back of the cupboard. It's well past its expiry date, but it has some good fiber in there and some seeds and things like that. So it'll go great in the worm bin. The last ingredient I add is sugar. Now you don't want to add too much because you don't want to attract ants. But a little bit of sugar is really good for the microorganisms and the bacteria that's inside your worm bin. It helps break down the food a lot quicker when there's more microorganisms. And in turn, that helps the worms be healthier and happier. Now all you need to do is blend it all together. You want to make it into a fine powder. And I'm using a jug blender here. You can use a food processor. It's up to you what, what you have at hand. That's what you use. Jug blender is probably not ideal, but it does the job and it makes a nice fine powder for my worms. And that's all there is to it. You now have homemade worm chow. It really is up to you how often you feed your worms with the worm chow. You can do it every time you give kitchen scraps to your worms, but it's a bit of a waste really because there's so many good nutrients inside your kitchen scraps. I will use some of this when I'm starting a new worm bin. And I will also use it as a bit of a treat for the worms every few weeks or so when I'm giving them a feed. So here I'm using some of the worm chow on a new bin I've started. You can see there's already some powder on top there. That's actually ground up eggshells. So watch my other video. I talk about why I grind up my eggshells. You can see here I am spreading it across the top instead of just putting it all in one place. You don't want to have it all clumped into one place because it'll turn into a bit of a, a gooey mess. So just spread it across the top and that'll have the best benefit for your worms. Mm -hmm. 